hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel lady and beauty today it's gonna be all about a collective haul <laughs> i have goodies from nordstrom ulta sephora like your girl's been busy so today i'm gonna be sharing with you a collective haul video super excited to get into what i have recently picked up <laughs> so if you're new here my name is melissa i go by lady m beauty online if you love luxury beauty and lifestyle then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so let's get into today's collective haul and i also have some pr to share as well so let's do it all right, so your girl is back. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been here. Listen, life, life has just been life, okay? But I'm super excited to be back filming. Um, so I figured the first video will just be a nice haul video because I have been shopping. That has not stopped. So I am going to get into some of the things that I recently picked up. Um, let me just start. I don't even know where to start. It's like so much. Okay, so. I'm going to start with Ulta because I picked up stuff during the Ulta 21 days of beauty. So that's what I'm going to start with. It wasn't a lot, honestly, um, that I picked up and I have just been waiting to film this video so that I could open up all my packages. So this may be a little bit long, so I just recommend going and getting some snacks or something. Um, as we get into today's haul okay so let me try to open up these packages real quick i didn't have i didn't bring a scissors or anything so sorry for the noise oh okay okay what did ulta send me over in my package all right so i just pulled out a sample of la via la via este bell that's their uh, foundation. I mean, their fragrance, sorry. <laughs> so first things first, I picked up the Tinsy Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. This is a concealer that I have used a couple times. Um, did I change the shade? I already have the shade 460. So I picked up 495. I also feel like 460 was super, super light. Not super super but it was on the lighter side so i picked up something a little bit more um natural so that was one item i don't even remember how much this was because i picked it up um the sale ended a while ago i picked up good old beauty blenders they, they were a part of the 21 days of beauty so i picked up two beauty blenders so just the regular black color, nothing super crazy. So that was one order from Ulta Beauty during the 21 days of beauty. All right, this is my second package. Ooh, um, so I picked up this uh, Keys. I've been liking Keys, Keys Soul Care actually. Um, I use the cleanser. I have another product, the body oil that I have used, which I really enjoy. So they had this. This is a multi-benefit peptide serum. So I picked this up um, from them as well during the 21 days of beauty. And then the next thing I picked up was the Oma. Oma, I think it's called Trippin Smooth. Powder. I love the packaging. So it's like this holographic and I picked up the shade deep. So I picked that up during the 21 days of beauty from Ulta. Like how cool is that? Um, so yeah, I got the shade deep. Listen, I will be sure to list everything down below in the description box of items that I picked up now still sticking with Ulta. I have a box. So here is my box that I picked up. And this was probably what I was most excited for um, was what was in this box. So I got something for free. I got a Fenty Beauty, what is it called? Hella thick uh, travel size 
mascara um, because I picked up their hot chocolate fantasy gloss bomb. Um, I didn't really see it at Sephora. This wasn't part of the 21 days of beauty anyway, but included with my order, I added this, um, gloss. I love hot chocolate is one of my favorite, um, shades from Fenty. So I picked that up. So hot chocolate, um, their luminizer, hot chalk, hot chocolate fantasy. <laughs> I picked that up, but then the star of the show was, um, yeah, let me put the box down was the Ose on Daria algae, 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 algae <laughs> body butter. So I picked up two of them. I think these, these things are usually super expensive and they were like $25 or $24. Um, so I just snatched two up real quick. I love the body oil. Oh my gosh. Amazing. And I tried the body butter. I think I had like a sample of it before and I really enjoyed it and I'm into body butters. So they're super heavy too. So, um, yeah, these were what I picked up. And um, that pretty much concluded my Ulta haul. Pretty much everything that I picked up during the 21 days of beauty. All right, so that's Ulta. Now let's get into Sephora. So I have stuff from Nordstrom. I bought stuff on Fenty. Now I have to say, sometimes you kind of have to look out because sometimes the brand websites be having super, super um, amazing deals. So Fenty Beauty just had their uh, friends and family where um, I was able to get 30% off. So I picked up a couple things, but what I really wanted was not part of the 30% off. So I was kind of bummed, uh, but nonetheless. So I'm trying to put my Sephora bag here and let's get into the Sephora. So the first thing I got from Sephora is the LYS Beauty Skin Loyalty Blur Mattifying Set Makeup Setting Spray. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cool. Um, I tried this actually. I uh, did a makeup review, foundation review, and I uh, used this. So it's a natural finish. Um, it's like the perfect mist. Like, I love it. It like, can you see that? It just sprayed like, just like boom and doesn't really have any scent. So I have enjoyed this. I only used it once, but I'm super excited for that. Um, <laughs> I did pick up the Danessa Myricks groundwork, uh, palette. So this is a, all a face palette. So it's good for eyes, brows, face, and lips. Um, and this is what it looks like. I am going to be filming a video with me using this for everything, for basically my eyes, my brows, my face, and my lips. So I'm excited to be able to film that. I did use it. I have used it a couple times um, and I really like it, but I love the idea. It is kind of big, but I love the idea of an all-in-one palette. And this time it's dark skin friendly because sometimes some brands do these face palettes and you have to always add something else to really make it work, right? So I did pick up the House Labs concealer. I haven't used it yet. Um, I picked up the shade 41 Deep Neutral. So super looking forward to try that. I think I have two shades of this um, Psy, uh, say. Uh, this is their Glossy Bounce Hydrating Lip Oil. This is in the shade Push. Um, I think I picked up the clear color or the nude color. It's probably somewhere in here, so we'll get to it. If it's there, I'll show you. Um, but I picked up this. I don't know. I have just been into all things lip lately. So I do have um, a lot of lip oils, lip balms, plumpers, whatever. I have been into that lately. So this is super cute. So love, love. Uh, looking forward to trying that. And then my favorite, I don't even know if it's like a skincare brand. I don't really know. K-Skin. So yeah, it's more on the skincare side. 
So I picked up the Isle Nourishing Body Mist SPF 50. This is from K Skin. It is broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. It is water resistant up to 80 minutes. I have not used this yet, but I picked this up and I'm excited to try. I do use her lip, lip balm or lip oil. I don't even know what it is. It's in a squeeze, squeezy tube. I use her body lotion. I use the sunscreen, the face sunscreen or face moisturizer sunscreen. I use a lot of products. The body lotion, love, love, love K skin. So when I saw that they have a body mist, it was like a no brainer for me to pick that up. Okay. What else? So I picked up two concealers. It's been like concealers has been like a thing lately for me. So I picked up two concealers from Milk Makeup. Um, this is their Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I picked up 17W and 21W. Um, yeah, it's concealer. Um, what else do I have? I picked up the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know I swear by my Marc Jacobs um, eyeliners, but I stocked up on a lot of them like before Marc Jacobs Beauty went out of business. Um, so I'm still looking for my next favorite uh, eyeliner. And this one is in brown, so can't wait to try that. I also picked up a new lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Malt. Kind of reminds me of Chestnut. Um, you know, Chestnut is an OG, so you always gotta find a little backups. I do love Lim Limitless Brown um, by Makeup Forever. That's also a staple, and I love Buxom. Um, I think it's Hot Chocolate or something. Those are kind of what I keep in rotation. Um, Laneige, I picked up Peppermint. <laughs> This is their lip glowy balm. I told you I have an obsession with lip balms. I don't know how many lip balms you can use at one time, but I picked this up and I think I'm gonna go back and get the peppermint in the jar because I love, love, love. Um, what else? So Patrick Ta, I picked up She's Wanted. This was one of the new shades in uh, the blushes when he recently came out with some extended shades in the blushes. So I picked up She's Wanted, which is like a nice plum cranberry-ish looking color. Um, I did re-up on my lip butter balm from Summer Friday. This is vanilla, I think. And this is my favorite, favorite, they're all my favorite. But this one stays in rotation. I have it right here. I always use it. So <laughs> here it is. So we told you that I use this all the time. So I re-upped on this, so nothing really new. But what I did try is Amy Cole. Um, this is, I don't even know what this is. It says it's cream multi-stick and I bought the shade Desert Dune. So pretty, but you can use it. I love, this is my first Amy Cole product. I um, They have the, this pretty gloss that I, it's a lip oil that I wanna try. Um, but this is in the shade Desert Dune. So excited for that black owned brand come through. And then I picked up the Best Skin uh, Matte Powder Foundation and I got the shade 44N. Haven't used this yet, but I'm excited to try. Yep, so it's the Best Skin uh, Matte Powder Foundation. What else? I got a brush cleaner from Sephora. I always need those to clean my brushes. And then from Mario, Makeup by Mario, I picked up Soft Pop, Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil and I got the shade Rose Crush. Um, that I love. So excited about that. I got the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting and Smoothing Powder. I, this shade, I actually used this today to set my foundation, so definitely a fave. I got a gloss bomb in the shade Riri, so this is like that mauve kind of color. Um, yeah, uh, with a little bit of shimmer to it, so love that. 
and then I picked up a Sephora I thought I had two shades Sephora lipstick this is like a newer um, lipstick that they came out with but it's 21 me and only me and then I picked up 22 too busy so they're supposed to be matte lipstick but I picked up two nude shades so they're super super pretty and then I've been on the hunt for a new cleanser so I picked up the Wishful Get Clean 2% PHA and Sea Moss Gentle Foaming Cleanser. Haven't used it yet. I've been waiting to film this before I use any of these products. So finally, I can actually test that out. Um, but I'm always here for um, new face wash. And last but not least, I forgot about this. This was on the 21 Days of Beauty um, with Ulta, this is a MAC lipstick, and this is in the shade uh, Thanks. It's MAC, so it's like that nice, neutral, brown girl friendly color. Um, so, yeah. So, that's one <laughs> Sephora bag. Um, this is my Nordstrom bag. Let's see. From Nordstrom, I did pick up the Hourglass uh, Veal Setting Powder. They also came out with new shades. So I really wanted the shade medium, but it was sold out. So I ended up picking deep. The only thing was I kind of had to buy this blindly because I couldn't like see it in person. Um, so I bought deep, so I haven't tried it yet. So hopefully I will not be disappointed with that color. Um, I also picked up the Givenchy Prism Lieb found, uh, powder. This is number five. I bought this before um, and I bought six and I it was too dark for me. So I went down to the next shade, which is five. I did pick up the Guerlain Terracotta La Tint Healthy Glow Natural Perfection Foundation 24 Hour Wear No Transfer Foundation. Um, I picked that up as well. And what else do I have in here? Oh, I got the new Gucci foundation. This is the 24 hour wear breathable uh, foundation luminous matte finish. Um, this is in the shade 420N. Haven't used this yet, but I got my Gucci primers. I've had the foundation. This is the new foundation that they came out with. So pick that up. I also got the, I'll tell you, it's the year of the concealer, I swear. I got the Makeup Forever HD Skin concealer here and i picked up the shade 4.0 y so super excited to try that another concealer <laughs> this is the givenchy prism libre skin caring concealer this is in the shade oops 405 n now i have the foundation one of my favorite foundations so i got the concealer as well and I think that was my, nope, I lied. I also picked up the YSL All Hour Precise Angles Concealer. I literally just picked that up. I just used it today to film, so stay tuned. My review is coming on that. And then I also picked up the MAC Studio Radiance um, Studio Radiance Serum Powered Foundation, which is what I am wearing today. I just filmed using that today, so I'm excited to have you guys watch that video. And that was pretty much my Sephora, I mean, Nordstrom haul, yes. Um, and then I have a Fenty, as I mentioned, trying to get my box here, Fenty Beauty. They had 30% off on their website, so I got some goodies from them. It also came with free a free like makeup pouch. We always need that. And then it came with like a facial cloth. And then I think I got the free bar soap. So the bar soap was free as well. The mini bar duo to go cleansing bomb, cleansing bar. I got that for free. What I picked up was the on and off <laughs> this is the mascara mini makeup melting cleanser duo so i got a mini mascara and a mini makeup melt which i love that makeup melt by the way so i've like the perfect travel size 
Um, so I got that. And then I got some lippies. Oh, and I got their little blemish thing. This is the blemish defeater. This is the BHA spot targeting gel. So I picked that up and I got two of the, what is this? Fenty Icon Velvet Lipstick. I got the shade HBIC. <laughs> I just love that. And then I got pink limousine. <laughs> and then I got a gloss bomb in the shade Champ Stamp, which is what I'm wearing today. Um, I love this. It's super pretty. Um, so that was my Fenty Beauty um, haul. And then I have a box from Sephora as well. I told y'all this was, this was going to be a long one. Um, so let me open that up for you guys. The other thing I did pick up was the gloss bomb heat and this is glass slipper. So this is the clear gloss and it's the plumping, um, formula. What else do I have? Ooh, I have a Danessa Myricks blush. This is the Yummy Skin uh, Blurring Balm Powder Flushed, and this is in the shade Rose and Brunch. So pick that up. And then I have the Makeup by Mario Concealer. I haven't used them yet. Um, so I picked up the shade 440 and 420. So I am excited. I got a lot of concealers to test out. Um, for my Sephora, this was when they had like 20% off foundations. So these are basically repurchases of foundations that I needed to repurchase. So this was the one size turn up the base, um, foundation. I picked up the Kosa, uh, Cali Ray free dreaming skin wellness diffusing tint. This is one of my favorite foundations. I was killing this during the summer. I picked up shade 15. I have this Neo Nude foundation by Giorgio Armani. Again, I like last, the year before last, this was like my go-to um, foundation. And then this is the first time I'm actually picking up this. I picked up the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 25. And I picked up the shade 380. Again, I will be sure to list everything down below um so that you guys are able to see what all i picked up now that was everything <laughs> from the haul but now i wanted to share with you guys i got some products in pr from inky list um they reached out and wanted to share some of their products and i was like sure why not um so they were so kind to send me over uh, a couple items so thank you, Inculus. I truly appreciate it. So what I got is the Hyal Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, and this is just to hydrate and plump the skin. And they sent me over their Oat Cleansing Balm, also for normal and sensitive skin. So this is to remove makeup and cleanse sensitive skin. And then they sent me this, the Inculus making skincare simple at inky list we know that skincare is confusing but that's why we're here to make skincare simple for you and so it's literally says to cleanse and then to hydrate so yeah thank you inky list i love so that was the first package and then i got another package and that this one oopsie is the bomb, I think. <laughs> yes. So it says the ink list your lips, but fuller new tripeptide plumping lip balm. And that's what I have here. So super excited. Thank you, Inky List. Um, I really appreciate it. So I will be trying these out. And guys, we have come to the end. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the Lady M Beauty channel. Um, that's it for today's video. Let me know what from the haul are you most excited to see me try 
or you're most excited to see my review so you can decide if you want to pick it up. Let's have a conversation in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, but before we go, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on your notification bells because I don't want you to miss out on any of my uploads. All right, guys, bye.